Hey Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future. And we're going to see what the universe would like you to know. I also do personal readings and my website will be linked in the description. So if you want to have a look, you can. But let's get into today's reading. Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Aries need to know at this time? Recent past energy for Aries. Okay, in your recent past you have the King of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. You're protecting something here. And I feel like it's almost like you're protecting something that you've built, something that is yours. It's your achievement, it's your success. And it's like you're holding on to it very tight. It's interesting because we've got the Seven of Swords here. So this is a very sneaky person. Somebody that sees something that you have. And it's like they're doing something here behind your back or they're trying to at least. They're trying to get away with something. And I feel like you're almost like you're getting this gut feeling. It's like you can sense that something is off. This is interesting. I feel like there's somebody around you that has kind of seen how your life has changed. They've seen how far you've come. And they're looking at you now and they're realising that you have some type of success that you've built for yourself. And it's like they don't like it. They don't like how quickly this energy has come towards you and how much your life has changed. So this could be somebody that saw you when your life wasn't, wasn't as good as it is now. They might have seen you when you were going through a hard time or perhaps you didn't have as much money. You know, you might not have been in a good financial position. And I feel like this person has seen how something has changed for you. They've seen how you've built something for yourself that nobody can take away from you. And it's like they, they don't like it. You have to be very careful with this person. But the thing is, Aries, it's like you're already, you are already aware of it. You're sensing that something is off. We have boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Look at this card. It's like everyone, everyone around you, everyone has all of these needs, all of these expectations. And perhaps you used to be that person that would always show up for others. You know, you would put your, your needs to the side and you would be there if somebody you cared about needed you. And I think that's a very good trait that you have, is that you're very loyal and you show up for the people that you love. But I feel like there could have been certain people around you that would just take and take and take. You could have felt like it was always you making the effort. Perhaps you would show up for them and then when you needed them, it's like they were nowhere to be seen. Or there would be excuses I think you had enough, you started to feel like, you know, you were sacrificing your own happiness or your own priorities in order to show up for everyone else. And it's like, it wasn't getting you anywhere. You were the one left feeling drained, feeling like, you know, you weren't able to focus on yourself. like it's expectations and pressure that people were trying to put on you you could have got to a breaking point where you just had enough it's like you're sick of of doing it you're sick of being that person this is all about boundaries this is about putting your foot down and saying no sorry no not feeling the need to do something you know you can love somebody and care about them and still 
prioritize yourself, especially when something is not reciprocated. If you're not getting the same energy in return, you you shouldn't feel bad when you're the one who needs to do what's right for you. We have double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I think you can feel that your purpose is something bigger. Double mission. It's like you're spreading some type of awareness or you're breaking some type of cycle. You're showing up in a way that maybe people around you haven't. You're on a mission though. I think there's a difference in the way you see the world. It's like you understand that a lot of people are lost. And I think you can feel people's energy. Sometimes you pick up on things that other people can't see. You want to make a difference. I think that's what matters to you. It's like you want to make a difference in this world. You want to be able to do something that matters. Something that you care about. Something that you have passion for. Current energy for Aries. Current energy for Aries. We have the Page of Swords. The Six of Swords. The Death card. And the Chariot. Wow. Something here is over. The Death card represents an ending. A fresh start. I feel like this death represents a part of yourself that you're letting go of. I think you, you feel like you're being called to do something else. It's like you had to go through the lessons that you have in order to take that wisdom with you. She's on a journey, she's traveling, but she's got all of these swords that represents her hardships, you know, her experiences, the tough lessons that she's had, and she's carrying it with her because that's what makes her who she is. And I feel like that could be you. It's like you've had to go through hard times. You've had to go through these really tough less lessons in your life, but you will now carry that with you and it's going to help you on this journey. I feel like you're doing something that is going to change. It's going to change people's perception. It's like you're able to share something that could make a difference to people. And I feel like you know that you're being called to do this. It's like there's something. There's something that you've been through that. Could inspire people, like the way that you've dealt with it, the way you've. You've changed something here. You've broken some type of pattern. But you need to move forward and you need to let go of something. And I think a part of that was expectations that you had from people around you or needing to have boundaries with people in order to, to follow this new dream, this new purpose that you have. I keep getting that message, wanting to make a difference, uplifting humanity. It's like you really... You're really powerful here and I think people listen to you and they respect you. When you talk, people can see that it comes from your heart and that you genuinely care. You could have felt lost for a while and it's because you were in a situation that you didn't find fulfilling. This could have been a job or an environment that you were in where you just didn't feel like you were fitting in. You didn't feel like this was what you were meant to do. We have trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Look at that. You're definitely starting something new here. Or you're about to. 
there is a massive change in your energy. There's an upgrade. It's like you, you can't live the life that you used to live. You can't be the way you used to be because that is not you anymore. You've seen some type of truth. You, you've really tapped into your intuition and there's no going back. It's like you can't go back because now you see it for what it is. You're unable to kind of be naive to it. So you could have been, you could have felt unhappy in a situation, but not realised just how much it was wrong for you. And it's like, once you have that moment where you see, it's like, how can you go back? You can't. There has been an end in here. There is a death of a part of yourself. It is. But I think there's these moments where you feel like you don't know where this journey is taking you. You don't know what the next step is. The universe wants you to trust your path, to trust that your intuition is leading you the right way and that you're supported. I think that, you know, this card is saying to you, if you knew that everything would go well, everything would work out in your favour, what would be your next step? What would you do if you didn't have this fear of failure or if you didn't have the worries of, you know, what if that goes wrong? What if, you know, if you didn't have that, what would you do? What is coming up for Aries? Future messages for Aries. We have Judgment. The Eight of Cups. The Knight of Swords. And the Four of Wands. You're charging towards something here. It's like nobody can get in your way. There's a part of your life that you don't resonate with anymore it's like there's nothing there for you anymore it doesn't feel right to stay in that place you're ready for something new you're ready to to put the past behind you and look forward and yeah I think that it's like this feeling of knowing you're doing the right thing but also feeling a little bit like there's anticipation there's there's a feeling of discomfort because you don't know where this is leading you. But I think here, coming up, you are going to be speaking some type of truth. And there's going to be a lot of people, I feel, around you that this disturbs, this bothers them. So they don't know what to do. It's like, what? Like, it's like chaos. It's like really like people just feel a little bit at a loss. They're like, what do you mean? So... Yeah, it's like something that you're going to be doing is going to shock people. Or it's going to affect certain people around you. Perhaps, for example, if this was a job and you say, actually, no, I'm going off to do this now. It's like this may cause some type of, like, like stress for people that are relying on you to do a certain thing. Like, it's that type of energy where it's like people don't know what to do with this information. And it's like they can see there's no stopping you. It's like your mind's already made up. And they know that. And you're very, very forward, very strong in what you say. It's like there is no doubt. It's like you, you're telling them. You're not asking. It's like you're telling, you're saying some type of truth. And it is what it is. And yeah, there's a part of you that looks, looks back and you remember certain good memories, parts of parts of the chapter in your life that's coming to an end. And there's gratitude for the things that you've learned. So there could have been difficult situations that right now you're not able to appreciate. But in this future energy, I feel like you're even going to look back on those hard times and you're going to understand why you had to go through that. You're going to see how it shaped you to who you are and how it was part of, you know, the lessons that you needed to go down this next this next path that you're going down. We have take a break, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. And the ever unfolding rose cracked open, it is happening for you, not to you. I feel like that, I feel like that confirms what I just said. It really does. Like if you think of in your current energy, 
you feel like certain things have happened to you that you can't really understand, things that aren't fair, things that don't make sense. In this future energy, it's like you see it as it was happening for you. It was for you. It was, it was something that you needed, whether you realise it now or not. You could be watching this thinking, how on earth did this help me? Like, why would I have had to go through that? Trust me when I say you will look back when you're in a certain place at a certain time, surrounded by this new energy, new people, and you'll realise that if you didn't go down those, those different routes, that you would have never got there, and there is exactly where you want to be. So it's almost like you feel like it happened for you. You can see how it was pushing you in the right direction without you even realising. Yeah, and it's interesting because at that moment, it could have felt so difficult. Right now, I feel like you can't, you're starting to have this upgrade, you're starting to shift and feel like a new person, but at the same time, you don't really know where it's taken you yet. You're doing what's right for you though. It's like it's been go, go, go. You know, all of this work, all of this pushing yourself, keep chasing, chasing these different goals, but this new part of your life, it's like, you're being in the moment. Take a break, get off the treadmill. It's like, be here right now. Life is so short, it's so unpredictable. I don't get caught up chasing the next best thing. This is a period where you will be in the moment, where you will be truly present in what you're doing. Let's get one more card for this future energy for Aries. Dance with life, do something to change your energy. Yeah. This is more of an energy of going with the flow. Rather than trying to have everything figured out, trying to plan ahead, you're going to just be going with it and seeing where life takes you. And it makes you feel free. You won't feel restricted, you won't feel suffocated, you're going to feel free. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? You are a leader. You are a born leader. And I think people, like I said, they respect you. They listen to you. They want to hear what you have to say. You're very powerful. You're very, very strong, very, very smart. Like you are very smart. And I think people, they can just see that you're the type of person that like has the courage to do what's right for them. But you have been being called to do something here that is going to help others, that is going to make a difference. I feel like you're, you're inspiring people. You are, you're doing something here that is inspiring to others, that changes the way people see things. And I don't know what that is. It could be different for a few of you, but whatever it is, it's like you're doing something here that people pay attention to and it can help them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aries. Please let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.